paint uh, at uh, Fitzgerald Art Studio. I like to also practice graphics once in a while because it's also my passion. I have to be an animator one day. Then I also love fashion and DIY projects. I studied from Taiba, went to Nagalama, then Maryland, that's why I finished my assets. Macquarie University, <coughs> Industry and Fine Art for three years. Yeah, I did uh, graphics design, painting, fashion. When creating another piece, where do you get your inspiration? I mainly look at um, previous artists, Vincent Van Gogh, Salvador Dali, or even my fellow workmates. So now I look at people who paint animals, because I love to paint animals so much. So drawing animals on something I love so much, and it's what I'm doing right now, though. In my paintings, I incorporate centango patterns. I look at uh, people who have done, who have drawn animals but using patterns. Something that's going to distort the whole idea and make someone think, like, what did she do this time? So that when someone looks at her, like, that's Momo's work. Sometimes it's, uh, it's according to the emotions, this artist expression. I paint better when I'm angry. I don't know why. I just paint better when I'm angry. Because when I'm excited, I'm going to move up and down. I like things that are beautiful, things that make people look and be like, oh, wow, how did you come up with that? Now that is going to help me teach someone else my skill or my talent. They get to look at you like you're this person who is doing something so extraordinary. So I tend to go on Pinterest a lot, go and Google about the artists and how they get their designs. Instagram as well has also helped a lot. But it's mainly social media. Once in a while we get customers who come in, they kind of don't talk to me until when they say that I'm actually a person I'm supposed to talk to because they think girls are not supposed to be doing that. I do not know where that comes from. They have faced it many times. When you tell someone, you're an artist, they're like, what kind of artist are you? Do you do fashion? They always think it's fashion. They always think like it's nothing related to drawing because many of the clients we have, when they ask me for my work and I show them, they're like, oh, that's too cute. They always think we're always on the cuter side of things. I don't know. I, 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 just, I just don't like being overlooked by other people. It sucks because they always look at the boys as a strong people. Working together with other girls because you can't work alone and uh, being supported. If you're being supported by your friends, by the people you want to work with, then it's a good thing. It helps to overcome such stuff. And standing up for yourself because once someone tells you you're not supposed to be in this field, most people run away. Because I've had people run away from school because they feel like, ah, you know, I just have my thing, did I generate money? So yeah, I think stand up for yourself, believe in what you do, because at some point it's going to work out. You don't have to always do what others think is best for you. you don't always do things to please others. lot going on and it's causing a lot of havoc but if we stand together to try and uh, create positive change for the upcoming generations it would help like recycling stuff really really helps but most people don't want to recycle and many people have been being told others know but they ignore so we have to get awareness that's what art is for for some of us it's when we use day-to-day -day problems we are creating awareness through our art. It speaks, it helps people understand what we're trying to do. When we have movements like going to schools and teaching kids how to draw, you tell them to get inspired by what is around them. So I think we, when we start with our own problems, it's going to help us. You see, when you paint something yeah. and you kind of exhibit it, someone is going to come and ask questions. That way, exhibition is the best way. And even posting all this work on social media, 
it's going to be an eye opener. It's going to be like you're sending a message out there to other people to open their eyes to what's going on around them. But uh, it's going to take a while because we have to be open minded. Some people are not open minded. We're always looking at money first. So I hope that, that helps. We have to come together as one to help everyone else. I come from Pokoto. <laughs> Yeah, we're done. Thanks. <laughs>